playoffs playoffs we can technically still talk about playoffs it doesn't seem like it and i know a lot of ravens fans like oh even if they get in they're gonna be one and done a lot of ravens fans like they don't even deserve to make the playoffs but it's still a conversation that we can have because they technically have not been eliminated from playoff contention yet and a lot of people ask well what do the ravens need to happen well, beating the Rams, that would have been a great start, <laughs> but also would have beaten the Bengals or beating the Packers or beating the Steelers or beating the Browns. That would have helped a lot. Even if just out of one of those five games, you would have just won one or maybe two. Two would help even more, of course. I mean, winning all five would have been great, but it, was, it didn't happen. And it didn't even come close to happening, but winning four, it's possible. But anyway, we don't even need to talk about that stuff. So, all right, so. How can the Ravens make the playoffs? How can they do it? How can they get in? Well, first and foremost, um, the Ravens, they need to win. They need to. It's so crazy that we've been talking about all these different playoff scenarios for so long. We've been talking about how the Ravens, week after 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 week, they've been getting so much help from so many different teams week after. It's crazy. It's crazy. So the fact that losing five games straight, the fact that they are still in the hunt to actually be a, in a playoff spot is crazy. But anyway, first, they need to win against the Steelers next week. First and foremost, so you got to take care of your own business. But then we back to the old school Ravens that they got to take care of their own in the last week of the season. But they also going to be low, they're going to be scoreboard watching. They're going to be scoreboard watching. So you need to take care of your own and you need the Browns. To either lose tomorrow night against the Steelers or to lose next week against the Bengals. Now, I wonder if Bengals would consider resting starters since their spot is clinched. Their spot is locked up and I don't think they can really move any higher, really low. I mean, it really doesn't matter much anyway because uh, either it's looking like it's going to be the Titans or the number one seed. Um, so it's not really looking like they, they can really do much so would they possibly rest starters and and get ready to be healthier as they can be in the playoffs who knows but you need the Browns to either lose tomorrow night or again lose next week so go Steelers <laughs> yikes uh and then you also need <laughs> here's the kicker <laughs> you need the Jaguars to beat the Colts you need the Jacksonville Jaguars to beat the Indianapolis Colts. Now, man, um, it's a division game. So, I mean, there's that. So, <laughs> it ain't looking like Ravens are making the playoffs. But let's still talk about this scenario because anything, anything is possible till it ain't possible no more. Uh, so, you need the Jaguars to beat the Colts in week 18. So maybe the Jaguars, since they obviously would just be playing spoiler, maybe they could come in there with their chest out and they could take care of business. Trevor Lawrence, he stopped throwing all these picks. I mean, I don't know how he played today, but he has his best game of the year. And it's like, oh, there goes that number one overall pick, T-Law. We love him. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that ends up going down. And then they also need the Patriots to either beat the Dolphins or to tie with the Dolphins next week. Patriots, they clinched. But Patriots, I did they clinch the division or did they clinch as a wild card? Uh, that part I'm not 100% sure on. But I do know, I am 100% sure that they are in the playoffs. Uh, they, got a, they got a spot in the playoffs. So they're set there. Oh, okay. Both them and Buffalo are both 10 and 6. So they're fighting. They're both fighting. So those two teams are in. Wow. Anyway, uh, so you need the Patriots to either beat or tie with the Dolphins. And then you need the Raiders to beat the Chargers. And that's a game that they said the winner of that game gets a wild card spot. They get one. So, yeah. So just a quick recap. The Ravens need to win against the Steelers. The Browns either need to lose against the Steelers tomorrow or against the Bengals next week. Doesn't have to be both. It can be one or the other. 
Uh, the Jack Jacksonville Jaguars need to beat the Colts. <laughs> the Patriots need to beat or tie with the Dolphins. And the Raiders need to beat the Chargers. And those, and a, along with the Ravens winning, that would allow them to be in the playoffs this season. <sighs> I still want the Ravens to go to the playoffs. I don't really think I'm going to get what I want. But, I mean... Ravens, they, they, they put themselves in this position. They certainly put themselves in this position. That's what happens when you don't take care of your own business, even when you get opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Then you get another opportunity after another opportunity. So it's life as a Ravens fan. Um, and, hey, we enjoy it. We enjoy it. Now, again, we, we, we talk about how Ravens fans – was spoiled, spoiled, not spoiled rotten, but spoiled because Ravens don't, they don't lose like very often in, in this, like what this season has been. It's just weird. When the last time they went eight and eight and, or went right around 500 or, or even just above or below 500, obviously 2000, um, 2015, that's the five and, uh, for well, five and 11, but even before then, like they were in the similar situation, uh, had when what was Flacco four and five or five and four before Lamar took over. So it was seeming like it was gonna be this type of season back then, but then Lamar took over, and well, y'all remember the rest of the story. And then you see what happens when Lamar is taken out. Uh, y'all see the current story. Um, and uh, wow, when was it? Hmm, maybe like. 2017 what were they like nine and seven then i think i forget what their record was anyway uh this is uh pretty unfamiliar territory for the lamar jackson led ravens but this team isn't a lamar jackson led team since he's been out and we'll see if they end up having him hobble out there to practice this week if he ain't ready they still need not rush it Hopefully they don't rush it, but I mean, we'll see. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd let y'all know. I'm sure y'all have seen the scenarios by now, but just in case you ever forget, just in case you needed a reminder, you can always come back and watch the video and say, oh, okay, well, I know what these Ravens, they need to do, and I know what they need to have done. Will it get done, though? Mm. Again, anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Ravens, even though y'all stress us out, even though y'all have been losing, doing a lot of losing, um, we still love y'all and we still appreciate y'all. We do. Because despite losing, they, they, they do some very fun losing. They do some very creative losing. Well, they have been. They don't normally do it like that, but they have been doing some very creative losing. Uh, but, hey, that's life as an NFL fan, right? So it is what it is. Remember, please remember, on a serious note, we, we joke around here about the Ravens a lot. We talk about the Ravens a lot. We enjoy talking about the Ravens and just NFL, period. But please remember, even though the Ravens have been rough, remember where they stand in your life. Please give them their proper perspective. Please, please give them their proper place. This is Ravens of NFL football, but your life. Your regular life is much more important. And Ravens shouldn't be out here. They, they, they shouldn't ruin your day. They shouldn't ruin your night. They should not ruin your week. They shouldn't be doing that to you. If they're doing that to you, you might have a problem. Because they don't even do that to players. Players, they get over stuff a lot quicker. And they're the ones in the actual game. They're the ones that... that, that Help control it Like as fans You ain't got no control Over the game Unless you decide To run out there On the field And do something crazy But besides that As fans You ain't got no control Over the game Unless you're a ref And, and you got you, you like one team Over the other But besides that Fans don't have Any control over the game But fans A, a lot of fans They can Sort of let A loss Linger on And on And on. Oh man My week is doing. No players don't even do that And they're in the games so you don't need to do it either. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. Y'all keep your heads up. And just like the Ravens are when it comes to being in the playoffs, I'm out.